Hello everybody, welcome to um, our Euro Pro 6 review. So um, so for, the, for those of you guys who usually watch the channel, you know that usually we, we do a lot of a reviews on, on courses, but we do review other stuff, or when I say we, mostly me, uh, but I've had some other people review some other things. Today we're gonna be actually um, reviewing the Euro Pro 6 Wi-Fi mesh uh, system. So, um, this is going to be a quick intro. What we're going to do is I'm going to actually show you what's in the box um, as well as um, tell you about the, the setup, the installation, the specs, and then uh, show you what kind of speeds we get. So let me uh, actually show you what comes in the box here. So again, here's the box. This is the setup, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's three... Um, actual devices. These are all Euro Pros. Um, there's different configurations that you can get, but these are actually the all uh, the Euro Pro devices. And you can see here, you know, these devices are pretty sleek. They're not entirely tiny, right? But they're sleek compared to most routers, okay? And the reason, one of the reasons I went with the Euro Pro is that each of them has um, two actual hardwire spots in that you can actually plug them into a device if you want to hardwire like a gaming station or uh, Xbox or something like that where you're gonna do it so you get three of these in the box um, and then what else you get I'm assuming it's just stuff to plug it in yep it's a pretty streamlined box guys so what I'm gonna do is um, before I go and set this up I'm actually gonna tell you why I'm doing this review so um, currently I'm running um, I have Fios at my house not a huge house, um, but I've had consistent issues with FiOS. Um, I pay for the one gigabyte, one gigabyte internet, um, which I never really, really get. So a little, a little, um, a little bit of what I'm trying to solve with this Wi-Fi mesh network. Um, one, when I originally got the um, <laughs> the one gigabyte installation at the house, um, they had their old modem. Uh, out the old router out so it was really really bad so I had to actually call them back a week after installation they added a Wi-Fi extender downstairs made it a little bit better I bought a secondary like extender that I had in a in one of the bedrooms um, it, it was passable <laughs> right at most um, the thing though is um, then I called them basically when my contract was up, asking them questions why my internet was so slow, and they offered to upgrade me to the new router, which it has been better. Um, it, it has been better. Um, they charge you about 200, I think $200, $300 for the new Fios router. Um, since I had been a customer and gotten such bad Wi-Fi, I think they made me pay like 50 bucks for it. Um, but anyway, long story short, what I have now is I have the new Fios router, uh, router upstairs on this floor <laughs> in my wife's office, so on one end of the house. Um, that does give a better signal. However, I have the original Fios extender downstairs. So now I have multiple um, <laughs> multiple Wi-Fi networks in the house. So obviously when you're downstairs, you're connected to one. I often forget to switch to the up upstairs one or your devices don't switch automatically. Um, so that's a big pain. Two, uh, the signal is not always consistent. Sometimes I'm getting, you know, if I'm in the room with the router or whatever, I'll get a decent upload download speed, and other times it'll it'll just do it's typically you're getting two megabyte download. So um, I did a lot of research. I was between this and the Google Nest, which also seems like a, a pretty solid product. Ultimately, I picked this one for a few different things because it's Wi-Fi six enabled. So this one just came out uh, November 2020. Um, the Pro. And so it's Wi-Fi 6, which is the newest um, Wi-Fi technology. It does have those ports where you can plug things in. Um, and this unit, this setup here, covers up to 6,000 square feet, supposedly, which is way more than I need for my house. I'm hoping I can run um, a few, um, you know, I have cameras outside and all different devices and everything. So um, I'm going to pause this video, set it up, tell you how easy it is to set up. Um, there's a pretty intuitive app that comes with this. We'll see how easy it really is. Um, and then I will show you some of the results. So stay tuned. All right, I am back, guys. I just finished setting up the Euro Pro 6 uh, Wi-Fi mesh system. 
it was really seamless, guys. It took me um, under 10 minutes, and I am actually setting it up with the um, Ryzen Fios uh, G3100 uh, router modem combo, which actually makes it a little bit more complicated. So um, there's two ways you can actually set it up with, with this device because it is a router and a modem. Um, you can either, um, you can actually, I looked it up, you can actually plug it right into the browser, uh, into the into the router, so that's really awesome. But there's two ways you can actually have it run. So the way I set it up right now is the lazy man's way, the really easy way. I wanted to see if, I'm not techie, I wanted to see if it would work. I literally plugged it into one of the ports on the router, the first one. Um, you download the app. The app walks you through step by step, kind of like name your Wi-Fi, um, yeah, your Wi-Fi um, network. Give it a password. Wait for the light to turn blue. Boom, you're done. It tells you where to go in the house next to place it. Um, the next one. Um, so I placed one in the far bedroom here, side of the house, and then one downstairs, semi center of the house, um, and then the third one. On the op on the opposite side, um, or the opposite side, whichever one I pointed to before. But you get the point. So two bedrooms, <laughs> two bedrooms, um, and then one downstairs. That's where I placed it. But literally, it took ten minutes, and most of it is just walking around trying to figure out where you want to put it. Um, and you know, they're really easy. You can just you can mess with them really easy. You just plug it in. <laughs> so once you have the first one into the router, the rest you can put it in anywhere. So you you can finagle it. Um, so here's what I'll say. Um, the way I have it right now is um, not. The way to get a faster, well, my brother, who's the, I call him the family IT guy, explained to me, is actually setting up the other way, where you turn your router slash modem into a bridge, which basically cuts off the router function and just keeps it as a modem, right? Because typically, if you don't have Fios or this router modem combo, you would just plug um, your Euros into the modem. But since mine's a combo, basically what my router's still doing is it's still servicing all the different networks I had that I talked about at the beginning of the video, plus <laughs> plus the euro so that's why i want to do that you i want to eventually turn it into a bridge where it's not sending out its own wi-fi signal and old wi-fi network so i can get the entire gig to my euro um to my euro y mesh uh network um but i will say um i've already seen it do what i wanted it to do i walk through the house i don't have to worry about changing networks which is awesome um i will also put up um as you see spinning here, you see one side put up, um, I'm gonna put up the video, which was basically going, um, showing you just kind of the, the speeds I was getting um, on the two networks before, and then I'm gonna show you, um, why can't I ever point to the right side? It's kind of crazy. Um, I wanna show you the, the one with the, um, with the Euro. Now, I'm in the middle of the house, away, the furthest point probably from the three, I'm kind of in the middle, but, um, so uh, I, will, I will show you that. I'll, I'll put them both up on the screen so you can see it. Um, a couple things to know about this, guys. This is Wi-Fi 6 technology, so it's the newest technology. That's one of the reasons um, That's one of the reasons I decided to go with the Euro is because I wanted to kind of future-proof this a little bit. Um, we did pay for these units, right? This was not given to us for a review. Um, as you guys know, Euro was purchased by Amazon. So you have a huge company behind it, which is a... To me, it's a clear play. I mean, obviously, Alexa is everywhere, but they want to, you know, kind of integrate themselves into, um, you know, the smart home arena. And this system comes with a smart home hub built in. I haven't set that up, uh, but you can you can set that up um, pretty easily on an app on this, on that same app, and you can control, you know, your TV and your lights and your blinds or whatever else you want to whatever else you want to use with the system so that's all built in it's all voice integrated with alexa so that's another thing so you have the power of amazon the size of amazon um, that bought the euro brand so you know it's not going to go anywhere right um also below if you decide to purchase these euro pro systems um we purchased the, the one the 599 with the fire tube cube uh amazon had kind of had a deal uh when you get both uh we'll put a a link below that is an affiliate link so if you do use it to purchase um, the product much appreciated we do get a small commission off of that um, if you don't I would still recommend it from what I'm seeing just for the ease of, of setup because again I am um, IT illiterate um, <laughs> it's well worth it um, and then just to be able to again it's seamlessly using on the devices that I already hooked up with it pretty quickly so 
you can just Google it if you don't want to use our link. Um, but a couple other things that I want you to know. So this, you can get the Euro Pro um, Wi-Fi mesh system in a lot of different configurations. This was three Euro Pro hubs, right? The ones with the two uh, ports in the back that you can plug, you can hardwire into. You can also just get one hub, and then you can get what they call beacons. And you can place those around the house. Those are a little, that's a little bit cheaper of a setup if you don't want to spring for the 599. Um, depending on your setup, it covers X amount of square feet. So this setup is made for 6,000 square feet. And you can continuously add on euros um, as you want to extend it. Also, this setup uh, will support up to 75 simultaneous devices. So if you have a lot, which add up when you start doing ring doorbells and things you don't really think about, um, you know, phones and TVs and all this other stuff. Um, also, I'm trying to think what else I should tell you guys. Um, it is tri-band, which is important as well. Um, it also will do automatic security updates for you, so it'll keep your Wi-Fi network secure. You don't have to worry about that. It'll always have the latest security put in there. Um, it's compatible with Alexa, which I said. It has a smart hub. Um, yeah, I mean, I would recommend it, guys. If you're looking for just to get rid of your dead spots and, and have more seamless internet throughout your property, um, I would really recommend this. Leave some questions below. If I forgot anything, I'll try to answer them for you. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video. Um, but subscribe like share that helps the channel tells google that i'm not just talking to myself um close to it but <laughs> but not exactly and again if you decide to purchase it and you use our link uh, below that's much appreciated as well so i'm also going to be writing up a full review um on f um realreviewhub.com which is the website to this channel and i'll put the link below to that as well so if you want to read um more of the specs and everything you'll have that in front of you so thanks for watching take care